Learn how to make the perfect Nigerian party jollof rice recipe for 30 to 70 people depending on the type of party or occasion. Remember that you can also double and triple the recipe for a larger audience. Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Varieties channel. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload any video. Kindly feel free to share this video with your friends, loved ones or anybody you want to share it with. Thank the very you. first thing I'll be doing for this recipe is to prepare all the tomatoes and bell peppers. So on my work surface, I have placed them. six medium thin tomatoes and three long thin fresh tomatoes. Each of the tins comprise of uh, 140 you multiply grams. Multiply 140 grams to six tins. That's the quantity I am using. You can substitute the thin fresh tomatoes with ordinary fresh natural tomatoes. And this particular tin is about um, 400 grams. Right here, I have placed the long bell peppers, or you can call it the tatashi like we call it in Nigeria. I'm using six large long tatashi peppers. I'm going ahead to open all these tomatoes and bell peppers. We are going forward to blend the first segment. What I'll do now is to pour in the mixture inside here and then go forward and begin to blend the rest of the ingredients. So we'll take our time and cook this tomato here for at least um, 30 to 40 minutes so that, so that all the raw taste of the tin tomatoes and fresh tin tomatoes will be totally eliminated. Turn the heat right now to the very highest. Once the pot begins to boil, then I will turn it down to medium heat. So I'll be cooking this and stirring it constantly. You all welcome back to this segment. Yes, here we are going to prepare the proteins that we are going to use for this um, party jollof rice recipe. This is the hard chicken, okay? The hard chicken is highly recommended. The only ingredient I'm going to add inside this chicken is some salt. I'll cook the chicken for 10 minutes in its own juices. After 10 minutes, then we'll add other ingredients to the pot. In this plate, I have three red scotch bonnet peppers. A very large ginger size if you don't like your ginger skin attached to it just feel free to remove it and then one set of um, garlic go ahead and mix all these things together because we are going over to the next step 10 minutes later guys what we are going to do now is to add the remaining ingredients um, that we have not added yet at this point in time the chicken has been properly infused with the salt now we are going to add the goat meat any part of meat you want to use in my hand here i have a combination of um, diced vegetables that we're going to add to this pot right here some white onions and we're using about one and a half um, white onions one long tatashi pepper. and also i have about um, three spring onions i'm using the combination of the white and the um, green spring onions the last ingredient i have here is some chili peppers and we're using specifically the serrano chilies Inside the food processor is a combination of um, scotch bonnet pepper, ginger and garlic. The ingredients I showed earlier on, so I have minced it, I'll add it immediately. I have a 
have a pair of no cube i'll break that in you can increase the quantity of a um, no cube if you, you can want. also use them um, chicken cubes but i couldn't find chicken cubes around here so i'm using what i have the salt i added earlier on is not going to penetrate into the whole ingredient so i'll add more salt be careful not to over salt your pot now take your time and mix all these ingredients to combine effectively It's beginning to smell so good. The aroma from the chicken and the goat meat is oozing right now. <laughs> so because I'm going to grill this meat, I will not be cooking for a very long period of time. I will cover the pot right now and we are going to cook it for exactly 25 to 30 good minutes. If you notice, I have not yet added any water to it. That's because um, the water I have at the base of my pot is still enormous, okay? So if you need more water, add it now and cook. Okay, my gorgeous friends, at this point in time, you can see I have placed all the meats on my baking tray because right now we are going to transfer to the oven. The cooking process is totally completed. If you want to fry it, you can go ahead and fry it, but I want to lessen the intake of oil. Remember, we're also going to fry the stew. But for the authentic Nigerian party recipe, it's wise that you fry it if you want to. Alright, so everything is perfectly ready now, so I will transfer it to the oven. Guys, can you see how gorgeous this our meat is looking? So we'll be grilling this until it gets um, light brown in nature or little darker in nature. So grill according to how you want. This is the outcome of the stock. So this is what is going to form the base of our jollof rice. This stock here is the secret to the party jollof rice. So it has to be super tasty. And we have taken our time to create it. So I will set this aside until it is required. We're going over to another stage of preparation. On my work surface, I have placed them um, different ingredients here, and they are all fresh ingredients. All right, so here I have them um, two large onions, and I'm using the white onions. You can use the purple onions, or you can also mix the two together. I have two scotch bonnet peppers, ginger. I also have two sets of garlic. You can see the garlic there. So I'm using about um, two sets of garlic. I'll also be using one long, large tatashi pepper. Okay. Here I have three spring onions with the inclusion of the white area of the spring onion. A combination of um, fresh basil and fresh rosemary. These two ingredients is very, very important for this recipe. If you don't have the fresh basil and you're living in Nigeria, you can use the fresh curry leaves. It's going to bring a nice flavor, the same unique flavor also. But um, here I'll be combining the fresh basil and the rosemary. And finally, I have some serrano chilies. So this is it. I'm using the very long ones three of it okay the same food processor i used earlier on for the blending process and then add all these ingredients right here my party pot on the heat you can see how big this pot is guys because the quantity of rice we are going to cook is a very big one remember we are making party rice for a big number of people so i have a very big pot here we have the outcome of the tomatoes i have taken my time it's not going to take us a long time to fry these tomatoes in the hot oil because everything now is ready okay all the preambles have been taken care of all right so in my pot now i'm going to pour in some quantity of oil for this recipe i'll be using wrap seed oil you can use them um, sunflower oil or any oil that you prefer and this quantity of oil here is one liter so i'll be pouring all this oil inside the pot because the tomato we are going to fry now is very big that after cooking the stew i'm going to take my time to scoop out um, excess so you want oil. the outcome of your stew to be super tasty you must make sure you're using good quantity of oil that is a secret when you're preparing your stew base at this point in time the oil is perfectly heated ingredients i'm going to add inside this oil now is all the blended mixture that we made earlier on inside the food processor 
So just be very careful to avoid any accidents, okay? on high heat very soon i'll reduce it down to me you want all these flavors in this pot you know to wake up here i have the dry ingredients please feel free to use any dry spices of your choice here i have some smoked paprika two tablespoons of paprika two tablespoons of curry powder one tablespoon of nutmeg one teaspoon of cinnamon the cinnamon is optional if you don't like cinnamon please you can skip it okay i have a tablespoon of um, thyme feel free to use any ingredients you prefer i also have some bay leaf here i'm using what i have in the house i'm not using much that is because uh, what i have in the house is finished oh yes guys as soon as the ingredients hit the pot you can perceive that gorgeous i going to stir everything to combine adding your spices at this point in time is very very important because you will want the flavors to you know wake up one of the secrets to your party jollof rice recipe so that when your guests taste this rice you know they are going to be satisfied with the outcome what i have in my hand here is um, no cubes i'm using them um, two pair of no cubes i'll open it up and throw it right inside here don't worry the no cubes is going to melt because we still have a long time to go So please make sure you're stirring the pot, stir it, stir it, because um, if you don't stir it, it's going to burn. And we don't want this thing to burn at all, at all. Okay, friends, at this stage, I'm going to cover this pot right now because we are going to cook it for five good minutes. I've turned down my heat all the way down to medium. I'll be stirring off camera, so please make sure you're stirring this pot. Five minutes later, you can see that the appearance of the stew has changed so this is the stage we are going to now fry the tomatoes inside the stew because we've taken our time to cook the tomatoes off camera for almost 40 good minutes it's not going to take time to fry it inside this oil the frying process inside this oil is going to take only between 10 to 15 minutes and everything will be ready so cooking the tomatoes helps eliminate the flavor of the tin tomatoes mix and combine everything gently be very careful because um, the splashes is not joking at all <laughs> these splashes can hurt your skin I'll go forward and add some salt. Remember we have the stock which we have not added. So please add too much salt at this stage. Just a little salt so that the tomatoes will benefit from it. At this moment, I am still cooking at a um, medium heat. So we are going to use the uh, medium settings to cook this tomato because we don't want it to burn. So I'll cover this pot and cook it for 15 good minutes. 15 minutes later guys i welcome you all what we are going to do at this stage is to add the rice what i'm having here is basmati rice i've taken my time to wash this rice um, off camera in fact during the time the stew has been cooking i've been busy washing this rice so it's very very clean so make sure you wash your rice until the water runs super super clean like something you can drink so that your rice will not be sticky while you're cooking it and on the screen right now you can see the type of um, rice that i used super basmati cellar rice okay so i'm going to go forward and heat my water because i would like to have them um, hot water in this segment of preparation here is the stock that came out from the cooking process and they are run ahead to turn the heat on so that um, this water here or this stock here is going to boil because everything we are going to use to cook this rice right now should be hot you want all the rice to be evenly cooked okay i will go forward and open the pot and this is the appearance of the stew right now it's super super red guys can you see how incredible and how beautiful the stew is looking this is what your party stew should be looking like okay so i will go forward and then um, stir it so this is the stage where we get to scoop out some oil all right so this is the oil i have scooped out I still have more oil here. We require the oil to cook the jollof, so you don't want to scoop out all the oil. At this stage, I'm going to add the rice. We are going to toast the rice inside this stew. 
So I'll start adding the rice gradually. You want the rice to be completely saturated with this stew. Five minutes later guys we are moving forward at this point in time we are going to pour the stock that is boiling so just make sure that you have all your stock inside here before you think of adding any other water inside it that's because you will want the full boost and flavor of your stock okay that's going to make your jollof rice to be very very tasty now take your time, mix and combine everything very well. I am tasting to see how it is. I will now add some add salt. salt to your taste. Now I will add some little quantity of hot water. Water we have here is enough. You notice that um, the water is exactly the same level with the rice. You don't want the rice outcome to be mushy. So please pay attention to this thing. Notice that the water quantity is exactly the same stage where the rice is. And remember that what we added here is hot water. The hot water is going to help the rice to cook evenly. So that all the rice grains will be equally cooked. At the same time, when you bite into the rice, some of the rice will not be hard while others are soft. So we are going to have a kind of an even outcome with this um, rice. That's why at this stage you should be using um, hot water because the quantity of rice we are making is too big. Next again to confirm for salt. I'll add some salt. While I'm stirring this pot, my heat settings is at the lowest. So once we have completed the stirring process, I will turn this heat all the way down to you know medium stage. At this point in time, it is perfect. So we have a uniform taste. Everything is perfect. If you want to add anything extra, add it now. You notice that the rice is still visible, yet we still have some moisture in this place. So we are going to cook this on medium heat. I'll cover the pot now and cook for the first 10 minutes. Once you notice that the water has stayed dry a little bit, then we are going to go back to another step. This is the outcome of the grilled um, proteins, the chicken and the goat meat. It's so so delicious and flavorful. Ten minutes later, that the rice has um, surfaced, you know, unlike what we have left um, earlier on. So I'll go forward and then stir it. I've gone ahead to foil the pot. I'll cover it. Up. I've also turned my heat all the way down to the very lowest. So I'm cooking on a very low heat right now. 30 good minutes or 30 to 35 minutes time. I'm going to open the pot. Oh yes, this is what we are having. The appearance of the rice. This is what we are having right now. Because we use them hot water to cook the rice, it didn't take so long. Look at the rice, it's looking so good. The base of the rice is completely cooked. Mm. Mm -mm. It's so, so tasty. Mm. This rice is so tasty. Mm. 
For the final process, I'll scoop in some butter here. Two tablespoons of um, butter. The butter is going to infuse an enormous flavor. At the same time, it will help the rice to shine. And then the flavor of the rice is going to, you know, escalate. <laughs> Mix very well and spread the butter into all segments of the rice. After mixing the rice, I will cover it here for 2 to 3 minutes or even 5 minutes and allow the butter to set. 5 minutes later and we have finally come to the end of today's recipe. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's um, recipe. Our uh, party jollof rice is ready. Now you can serve it to your guests. This rice quantity can feed about um, 30 to 50 people, even up to 70 people, if not 100. Depending on the quantity of rice you're going to serve, this rice can even feed up to 100 Thank people. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. I really hope you have enjoyed today's recipe. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and please, Share this video with your friends, loved ones, or anybody you want to share it with. Remember to share this video, guys, because um, it is not easy to spend so much time in the kitchen here cooking for several hours just to, you know, release the video to you. So support my platform, support my channel by sharing this video so that many others who are looking for such type of um, recipes, okay, will find it through you. Until I come your way next time, Bye. Bye.